Oh, yeah. psych. Go yeah. psych. C's gotta go yeah. get a psych. power strip. Psych. Psych, everybody. Psych. Jeez. <laughs> okay. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Jels from Fitment Industries, and I'm with... Eric from Fitment Industries. And Dakota from Fitment Industries. And we are back with another episode of From the Gallery. edition Woo! because it's going to be a euro flavored kind of month yeah i have a feeling and remember if you want to be featured in an episode of from the gallery make sure to add your car over at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add and once you're done with that shoot us an email at shop at fitment industries with the subject line review my car i cannot talk on this Monday morning. Okay. 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 all right anyway wheel size suspension fitmentindustries.com don't forget Bang. to subscribe all that kind of good Boom. stuff are we ready to get into it absolutely first up we have a 2010 Volkswagen Tiguan Ooh. on some rotiform INDT, 19 by 10 and a half, negative five on some airless performance air suspension. This is Liam Smithy's 2010 Volkswagen. Liam Smithy. So these things are super cool because yeah. they're, you know, they're one of those cars that's like, you see them done up, but not very often. Yeah. And the fact that it's on airlift performance on some rotiform wheels and everything like that, you know, it looks like it'd be a really fun, good daily driver. Everything like that, see whatever he's got. Yeah. Does have a little bit of rumming, but he does have some metal trimming, probably so he can get it that low. Yeah, I, li um, I like his uh, I like his tucked fitment on there. I like yeah. it, I think it's pretty clean. It's yeah. Good, it kind of put, puts the whole piece together as far definitely. as his look he's going for. It's definitely super clean. I love it's on airlift. Uh, the wheels on it too. I'm, I'm a big fan of road form, so definitely, definitely cool. Cool. So yeah, I like this too. I'm not a big tucked fitment guy. I like fender to lips, however, I love when people do something different like this because I've never seen one of these in person done up like this ever. So the only like one I've seen was in Tokyo Drift. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if uh, like I was at a car show and I seen this, I, it'd break my neck. I'd have to walk over to it. I have to check it out. So in that sense, super dope. I like the wheel choice. I think the wheels look dope on there. Like I said, I would just like to see a little more uh, fender to lip with the airlift setup and stuff. But overall, just seeing something different and done up the way it is is cool. So that's kind of my two cents on there. Rate it? Yep. All right, on three. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, one, two, three. Eight. Seven and a half. We have a 1985 okay. BMW 535i Ooh. on some BBS RSs. 17 Thanks. by eight and a half plus 11, some Nanking tires, and some TA Technics air suspension. So this thing, this is Miss Ren... Miss Renly Tongues? I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, yeah. Miss Renly Tongues, <laughs> 1985 BMW. So this thing Dude. is absolutely The killer. photos are so clean too. Eric, I'll, I'll let you take a crack at it first. Yeah, Eric's going first. I think it, I, so I like the way that it looks. I do like the air suspension Ooh. again. I do though, I like how low this thing sits. It's super dope. I like the, the tucked fitment once again. I love BBS wheels. These are super fire. I don't know. Maybe like the color of the car is a little weird. If it, I can't tell if it's black or brown or whatever. That dark brown. It's black, yeah. Black. I mean, if it's black, I definitely dig it. But yeah. I believe oh, it's yeah. black. Let's yeah. Just, let me check it out. Okay, so this thing's dope. It looks like a boat. <laughs> <laughs> FTG boat edition. Oh. <laughs> no, but it's sick. I absolutely love the louvers on the rear window. Yep. I think that looks so badass. I don't know. It looks weird. Again. Talk is it badass or is it weird? Not my thing. <laughs> Listen, the front looks pretty good. The front's pretty spot on. The rear, I mean, he's going for the tuck yep. so I'm not gonna say it's bad. Just my personal taste, I'd like to see it kind of match up and line up. But it is also really cool how low it just, it's dumped, it's Literally. slammed, you know, it's on the ground, so I like that. But overall, I like it. It's pretty simplistic. With the louvers, though, I feel like he should do something in the front, like a little lip or something, you know, like. Just kind of tie it together. Yeah, it needs something in the front, because it's party in the back you know too much business in the front i want to party in the front and the back but uh i love the wheels the wheels look phenomenal on there for real classic classic bbs on the bmw saucy so i think with the setup that he went with here though it would look really good yeah because it does it's not like he's got like a crazy amount of stretch anything because he doesn't need it you know he's tucking the whole wheel you know everything like that i think this is a very classy build I really like it. The BBS RSs, the color combo, oh, yeah, just a so nice. I like that he kept like the chrome trim and everything to kind of like go along with the wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, the louvers are a good choice. Looks like he's got a nice little duckbill wing on the back there. Um, but yeah, it's a solid, solid car. 
Yeah. Ready, ready? Let's give her a rate. Alrighty. On three. One, two, three. Eight. Nine. Eight and a half. Up next, we have something that will hit home to our good old pal Dakota a little bit here because he absolutely loves wagons. Oh, so we had to we make go. sure that we had some sort of kind of weird yeah, wagon yeah. in here. So Dakota, I'll Ooh, let you take nice. this. Oh, nice. All right. Dope. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we got a 2013 Mercedes-Benz CLS 550, and uh, we don't have the IG on here. So if you know him, tag him. If he doesn't have an IG, well, go make one, because I want to follow you. <laughs> this thing is sick. Hey. The Rotiform laser is on here. Laser. Really good choice. Um, the Fitment looks pretty good on it. Looks like you maybe tuck in a little bit, so you may could have went a little bit wider, maybe did a small space around it. Overall, if it's a daily driver, it's a good setup. And for springs, H&R it, lowering springs, right? Not bad, that fitment's pretty on point. I didn't even realize I should have read through it. It looks like coilover fitment knees on springs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. However, I'd like to see a little bit more done to it. Sure. You know, it looks like it's just wheels and lowered for now, probably tinted windows. But yeah, this thing's cool. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of what I like to call old man blue, but uh, <laughs> oh, <that's stunning. laughs> it, it is a wagon, it kind of fits it. I think with some other modifications, it would pull everything off. And I know his wheels are kind of a silver, but I'd like to see the chrome deleted around the, the sure. window trim. All right, well, I think, uh, first off, uh, what a fat back end there. That is nice. <laughs> she uh, got a fat uh, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, I'll speak for Eric on that one. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, like, I definitely dig it. Um, fitment, awesome. Um, I, I, the blue is like cool, like the paint on it is, is, is you cool. You like old man but, blue? But like, I don't know, it definitely would change it down the road. Yeah, overall, I think this thing is super cool. It's super massive. Like, yeah. it's just like, it looks like a freaking, I don't know. FTG boat edition. A boat edition, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got like a, I don't know, like it's just so like sleek and everything. Like the whole, the whole thing just kind of like, uh, just rounds out towards, yeah, it just rounds off towards the back. like. It's got the waves, brother. Yeah, it just looks absolutely massive. I would love to see this thing in person. Um, I think for what he's got and like what he's done to it, it's all been a solid choice. The H and R Loring Springs are good. The Rotiforms are a great choice. I think anything more to this would be a little a little much. So I like the like the clean look that he went with it. Uh, anyway, are we ready to rate it? And move Keep on to the last the couple cars. The people gotta know. Anyways, I'm ready to rate it. Okay, on three. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, seven. seven have a 2008 Audi S5 on some water-cooled industries, okay. MT10s, 19 by 11, negative 12s all around, some Lexani tires, oh, airlift, airlift performance, and we do have a wide body What's on there IG as tag? well. His IG tag is Jose B8S5s. Oh, cool. Or cool. Jose B8S5. Um, cool. How big is this? Wheels are... 19 by 11 and a half, negative 12, all around. So I've square noticed, setup. is this a newer thing? I, I feel like everyone's starting to go to that 19, 20 inch bar. Like 18s, I feel like are becoming think, less popular yeah. and everyone's going up to 19. I've been seeing a lot of questions, yeah. especially too, from you guys on social media about that, like the bigger sizes, which is interesting to see. I like 18 on most vehicles. Obviously it's situational based, but I feel like 18 is a real solid number sure, for yeah. most cars. Yeah, definitely. I think it's something we'll continue to see too, yeah. especially when we get into like the over fendered cars with, you know, the multi-piece wheels and everything like that. <laughs> All right, so he does have 10 millimeter spacers in the back. He's got a square setup, except he does have the 10 millimeters in the back. Probably just a staggered look. Yep. Yeah. And probably just to fill out those massive over fenders those on the back too. Over fenders are so looking at this thing, I absolutely love the direction that he went with it. It is just an aggressive styling. The, the over fenders really make it that front splitter. Um, is absolutely wild. That rear wing is even wilder. Like the risers themselves got some cutouts in it, and then those freaking end plates are just absolutely wicked. Like Look like ninja oh, like a freaking like <laughs> dragon claw Looks or like something. Looks like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but like we'll throw them at people or something like that. I love the S5s. I think they're super cool cars. The only thing I'm not a super fan of, I guess, would be like super the red fan. Audi rings on, on the front. He's so specific with it. He's like, Be very careful no, how you red. say Audi, because <laughs> the internet gets very, very mad. Yeah, this thing is sick. Uh, would I, you I whip it? Would I whip it? Absolutely. Dang. Here's the thing, I can't afford it. The whole setup is super cool. The over fenders, like you said, are, are pretty massive, but mm. they, they go with the whole flow of the car. Um, the wheels are sick. I mean, I definitely, at first I didn't see it. That, Whatever that finish right there, that gunmetal gun finish. Yeah. This is dope. Just voice it over Ready? like a Japanese yeah. film. One, two, three. Audi. Uh, Audi. Okay, cool. All right, there it is. Uh, <laughs> super dope. Um, 
No, but I was like curious. I wonder if guys has got like a pretty sick exhaust on it or anything because I noticed that's a pretty typical thing. Oh, I'm sure thing she rips. This. Yeah, I'm sure she rips, bud. But uh, yeah, stamp approval. Let me check this shit out. You got the big old wheels on there. You got them fender flares. Yee yee. You know what I'm saying, brother? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like custom offsets. I, I, uh, <laughs> it's borderline for me too much. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I, I like the that. car. I like the vortex generator on here. That looks cool. The wing, I think that's what gets me. I think that's too much. I'm not a huge fan of the red rings on the front. We all know it's an Audi. I think it looked way sleeker, just blacked out because with a black car like this, and you already have those huge red lips on there, less is more. Everything else looks pretty solid. Hey, ready to rate it? Let's yep, on three. One, two, three, seven. Eight. All right, last car of the day. We have a 2009 Mini Cooper. Ooh. Okay. On some Rotiform RSE 17 by eight plus 40s, Yokohama tires, of course, on airlift performance, air suspension. Now, this is Little Miss Mini a lot of air 802s. Going today. So we got, got a good old k and air take, uh, Q300 from NVIDIA. Got some Ooh, Sneed NVIDIA for Speed awesome. front and side splitters, arrow wing and a full body wrap, and it's been de-chromed. No, I, I think it's cool. The, the Femin looks pretty good on it. Um, there's a lot of purple going on. Like I noticed there's purple behind the front wheel well, purple on the side mirrors, purple on the roof, purple around the hood scoop, purple wheels, purple tow hook, Again, with what I said with the last one, <laughs> sometimes when you have like a neutral color car and you're going with a colored accent, less is more. You'll notice it a lot more if you let it pop, opposed to just plastering it over the entire car. The Rotiforms look good on there. The RSEs, those look pretty good on pretty much everything. Pretty much you can't really yeah. go wrong. Yeah, it's like the RPF1 for the Euro world. Pretty you much, put yeah. RSEs yeah. on pretty much yeah, anything and everything. They look good though, they, they look yeah. good. Okay, uh, I love the wheels. I think the RSCs are a classic, like you said. They're super fire, I think they're dope. I uh, love that it's on airlift again, like we said before. Um, again, pur purple is a little- oh, okay, a lot purple, of purple going on. A lot of purple. Okay. My, uh, my brother has a Mini, so I'm kind of trying to go off of you know what he's got going on. Do you on. like his Mini or do you dislike his Mini? Uh, his Mini is very neutral, but it's got a cool exhaust, so. Uh, do you enjoy the cars? Have you ridden in it? Yes. Have you driven it? No. Oh, okay, you've only ridden it. I do think it's weird that the odometer is, is in, in the, the center. center. Yeah, yeah they're weird. That is weird. They're that is weird. They're but this, but weird the, ducklings. But this car in particular, um, all right, you put some money into this, <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> is there anything you'd do to it differently? Um, like what would you do? I like, probably would, uh, I would put maybe like a different wrap on it and okay. I would tint the, the windows like you said and then also maybe do something extra like throw like a uh, like a wide body kit on it and, oh. like, and like a wing on it, like big oh. wing hang, you know what I mean? Like oh, something right. crazy, I don't know. Dang. Right. I feel like I'm in the same area as you were, like yeah. it's gotta be like a fun car. I'm kind of in the same boat. I, I don't hate the purple. Um, I think the roof could stay, personally. I think the little uh, stripe here could stay. I think all the other smaller accents though, if they were like a carbon or if they were matched to the white. It's not just look. real carbon. I'm, I hate <laughs> vinyl carbon. I hate <laughs> vinyl carbon. All right. I hate vinyl carbon. So I, I think that would look really clean. The only other thing that like, it really kind of throws me off is the white center caps. Oh, is it white? I thought it was silver. I thought it was silver, but like- See, I can't, I, I, I can't tell it. Like it kind of looks like it was paint matched to the white. If, oh. if they are silver, maybe they just couldn't get them in the yeah, or something like that. Yeah, off a little bit I mean, too, I think if, if that were the case, just a little bit of carbon, paint matched the center caps. Actually, I wonder if those wheels are powder coated and then those center caps are plastic so you can't powder, powder coat it because of the heat That's and probably the melt exactly and the plastic what it is. and the yeah, melt exactly. and the gooey and the... Wow, you're a scientist. All right. <laughs> well, other than that, I like the car. Fitment's really good. Good choice for suspension and the wheels. Dope. Even the tires even. Yeah. Everything's good. Let's rate it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, on three. One, two, three. Six Seven and a half. half. So that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the Euro edition of From the Gallery. Don't forget if you want your car in an upcoming episode, make sure to stop by fitmentindustries.com and add your car. If you haven't added your car yet, I don't know what else we can do. You better Fit do it. Uh, th there you go. I'm the nice guy. Dakota's just like, <laughs> good cop, them. bad cop. <laughs> fitmentindustries.com forward slash ad. Otherwise, you can hit the link in the description down below. And then don't forget to email us at shop at Fitment Industries with the subject line, review my car, so we know that you like really, really want us to review your car. And maybe we'll think about it. Yeah. But, but other than that, we'll yeah. start suspension, fitmentindustries.com. I'm Gels. I'm Eric. And I'm Dakota. We'll see you later. Peace.